All right, golfers with dirty balls, we're back for part two. Let's see what happens here. We'll put, we'll put some scrubbing action on this thing here and see what happens. It's, it's lightening up the stain. What was that golf ball in that Bond flick? where he switches the ball on that bad dude, Slossinger, two or three, I forget what. That one may need a few more blasts of oven cleaner. It's getting the outside, it's not getting the dimples. Let's see what happens with these other ones. Oh, that's shining up like new there. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a pinnacle gold. That's some brown dirty stains in there. So anybody that, you know, picks up used golf balls and just has a bucket or two around, uh, my brother, he, he had, he's he got a 600 foot lot and uh, he used to have a spaniel that he'd, he'd whack the balls out and the dog would return them. I had one dog that would chew them apart. Now I just throw them into flower beds for decoration. Yeah, that one cleaned up pretty good. Dunlop. I could get I could get more fussy with it if I want. There's a Callaway with dirty dimples. Let's see if we can clean up them dirty dimples. Shirley Temple had was a dimple queen. Oh, that one's really cleaning up. I don't know what the Watts logo is or what their product is. That's the Callaway 3. There's no no cuts or scratches on that. That look, that one turned out pretty. Pretty nice. This one may need another coat of oven. Eh, maybe not. This one's scuffed and scratched a bit. This guy must have been a, a crappy hacker. Well, I just wasted a few minutes of my life cleaning golf balls that I ain't going to use or any of my friends are going to use, but hopefully that cheap bastard tip helped you. Wally World Oven Cleaner gets the job done. God bless the tubers and, and the people that play golf and other sports. As long as you're out there in the fresh air, having an exercise, life is good.